Hi, I'm George from Stack, and this is a quick demo of our product with its existing features and a few upcoming ones. So let's start from the beginning. This is how Stack starts, and you can use these shortcuts to open any app that you like. The apps at Stack open in these parallel cards instead of tabs, and you can swipe through these cards, you can resize them or rearrange them as you like to create a perfect working environment for you. Now, this setup of parallel cards is especially useful if your tasks require two or three apps simultaneously. Let's say if I wanted to copy tweets and post them on LinkedIn, I can easily do that without having to switch back and forth between LinkedIn and Twitter. The groups of cards that are aligned side by side are called stacks, and they can be seen here on the spacebar. As you can see, we have created one stack. Let's go ahead and create another one for messaging applications this time so that if I have to communicate with different clients through different chat applications, I can group all of them together and never have to switch back and forth again. So right now we have already created two stacks. These are on top of each other. I can switch between them, but let's say that these are applications that I need for work, but I also want to have an environment for my entertainment apps. I can do that by creating another space. Let's call it home. Let's customize it a little bit and open entertainment apps here. YouTube, Wordle game. Cool. So we have already created two different spaces and this time one is for work and one is for home, but I can do the same for my different clients or for my different projects. And this way I can be safe that no notifications from another project will distract me while I'm working on something else. So this method of organizing your web content in cards, stacks, and spaces is something that we call a concept of spatial browsing. It is based on the interactions between real world objects, and it helps us mind map the whole web environment around us and know exactly where our cards are and navigate where we want easily without having to think twice. Let's say if I'm focused on this card and I want to go to the neighboring one, I can easily do that like this. Or if I wonder where my Wikipedia app is, I can zoom out, see it, and go right to it. Since we're talking about navigation, let me show you another way to do it in Stack. So this is a new version of Stack, and this is something that we call the switch. You can call it by clicking Control L or Command L, and let's say I want to go to Twitter card. I start typing Twitter, hit enter, and it will take me there. Or let's say I want to open a new card. Um, let's say it's the new Google Doc. I can do it with switch. If I don't like the theme, I can change the theme with the switch. Or let's say I want to really focus on writing something in my Google Docs. I would call the switch and call the Zen mode. Now I'm left with only my Google Docs card, so I can be sure that no notifications are going to distract me and I will be as productive as I want to be. This Zen mode is an experimental feature and it is a part of the concept that we call the mindful online living. We believe that the internet has become a very messy place where everything is fighting for our attention and our time. So humans should have an environment where they can really focus on what is super important for them and also be mindful about how they spend the major part of their day and know what data they share with any application that is online. So mindful online living is the concept that is at the core of everything that we build at Stack. And finally, let me show you the demo of another experimental feature that we're building, and it's called the live collaboration. So Stack is a multiplayer browser, meaning it provides a layer that helps you invite friends or colleagues in the space that you've built and not only share files or share screen or share information with them, but actually create something simultaneously within every application that you have in that space. Even if these applications are not inherently collaborative or multiplayer by themselves. This means that Stack turns every website or every web application into a multiplayer one. So we are releasing this feature in the coming version of Stack, and we truly believe that it is going to change the way people interact with the internet and with each other remotely across the globe. So this is very shortly about what Stack can do right now and what it will be able to do very soon. So if you have any questions or if you want to learn more, we would be more than happy to personally onboard you in the new Stack. Thank you for watching.